Good morning and welcome to the Sick News Network. Today is Monday, November 25th. I'm Dom. And I'm Gage. Hello and welcome to the weather. Today's highs will be 62 and the lows in the 40s. Throughout the rest of the week, your highs will be in the mid 50s and the lows will be in the mid 40s to the highs 20s. And that's all for your weather. Now to the local news. Now to your local news. Remember to bring box tops, harder house receipts, and best choice barcodes to the drop-off basket in the Title I room. These labels for literacy help us afford RIF books that all students receive four times a year. We really need your help. Let's see which class can bring the most labels. Anyone in grades 6 through 12 looking to get into shape or staying in shape this winter, Coach TK will be holding cardio and running workouts Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 315 to 345 starting December 3rd. We will meet by the weight room doors and workouts will be outside, weather permitting, and will focus on improving running through leg strength, aerobics, and core stability. See Coach TK for any questions. Don't forget the library is having a bookmark contest. If you want to enter, Miss Matney must have your idea by December 5th. You can win prizes based on creativity and originality. Don't forget to bring your grades up and turn your work in because next Monday after break will be progress reports. Today, middle school will be participating in the voice program. Slushy can be purchased for a dollar during lunch for 5th through 8th grade students. You'll need to pay Ms. Wagner. Save the date. The elementary Christmas concert will be on the Thursday after Thanksgiving break. And the middle school Christmas concert will be on the following Thursday. The week we come back from break on Tuesday, December 3rd, the academic bowl team will be traveling to Kirbyville for an academic meet. Hello, I'm DJ with your lunch and breakfast menus for Monday. For breakfast, we will be having bacon, egg, and cheese bagel or waffles with syrup or cereal or oatmeal with oatmeal bar toppings, cereal and oatmeal sides, yogurt and fruit, and lunch, chicken nachos with white queso or Mexican entry condiments, chicken alfredo, sides, fruit, and that's all of your lunchtime menu. Hello, I'm Claire and welcome to sports. Today, the Lady Bulldogs will be traveling out of town. They will be traveling to Stratford to take on the Lady Indians, and tomorrow night, the boys will be traveling to Springfield to take on the New Covenant Warriors. Also, the annual Girls High School Blue Eye Invitational Tournament will start on, the, on Monday, on which we will turn from Thanksgiving break. Our high school girls will play Tuesday, December 3rd at 6, at 6 p.m. against the Glendale Lady Falcons. That's all for your sports. Hello and welcome to birthdays. I'm Laura Lai. For local birthdays, we have 6th grader Evelyn Andreas. So, if you see them in the hall, be sure to wish them a happy birthday. And for celebrity birthdays, we have Kevin Chamberlain, an American actor that has played in the Disney show Jesse and the Emoji Movie. That's all for your birthdays. Hello and welcome to National Day. I'm Jason McKellar. Today is National Parfait Day. A parfait is usually served in a specially styled glass. A, parf a parfait presents ingredients in a appealing layers. Fruit, yogurt, or ice cream provide the basis for transitions between nuts, chocolate, or even whipped cream. That's all for National Day. Good morning and welcome to this day in history. I'm Damian. And I'm Austin. On this day in 1960, the Amos and Andy, the Amos and Andy show made its last broadcast in CBS radio. Why, I'm just listening in on the radio to Amos and Andy. Oh, Amos and Andy again. There's a very funny pair. Every night they're on the air and fans are gathered everywhere. A radio is handy. On this day in 1500, Christopher Columbus was captured by Governor D. Bobadilla of Santo Dom Domingo. And that's all for this day in history. That's it for your local news. And don't forget that we are just, we are not just the news, we are the news with a Z. Now for your fact of the day, did you know just 53 programs celebrated the fall, uh, the fall harvest? Must have been a cool Thanksgiving. <laughs>